Hey everybody, welcome back to Banjo Kazooie. We're gonna try to finish off Rusty Bucket Bay in this time frame. I hope I'm fast enough. Yeah, you'll be fine. <laughs> the world will blow up if I'm not. <laughs> oh god, it's the speed movie. Oh, you motherfucker. They said I only have 14 days. <laughs> it's very hard to tell which windows you are easily or the ones you're easily supposed to break into. Here it's just to get a couple of notes, and I believe there's something else here. I just can't think of it. There's hey, con Conquer! Yep, Conquer cameo. Is that what? Oh, yeah, you're right. He looks so depressed. And innocent. Like he knows his future ahead of time. Uh, right? Yeah, Conquer's pocket tails. If that's a picture of Conquer here, could that mean that Barry was a sailor? Uh, I don't know. Who's Barry again? His girlfriend. Uh, he's remember that passcode. 312111. Try to remember that. 312111. Yeah, because we're actually going to go ahead and solve that puzzle now while we're at it. Might as well. Is number two. He always was an underachiever. <laughs> <laughs> like, is that passcode the same in every game? or is No, it... each file has a different passcode. Oh, okay. Oh, so that number just changes yeah. all the time. Oh, cool. Well, it doesn't change all the time. It changes upon file slot. So, 312. You can brute force this if you want to. I don't know why you would, but hey, the options are. 111. <laughs> one, two, one, one. <laughs> one, two, one, two, one. That puzzle kind of reminds me of um, Spy Fox. You know, you had to like set the time. I so wanted that, to hear Carfax. I'm sorry. You like, you set the time so that the sa so that that sailor that just keeps pushing the button can just go. I have the vaguest memory of what you're talking about, but I, the only thing I remember from Spy Fox is Go Fish. <laughs> go Fish. The only reason a lot of people play pig. Spy yeah, Fox. Yeah, the only reason why I know. That's the only reason why I know Go Fish is because that fucking pig made you play it all the damn time. Mr. Big Pig. Yeah, was that what his name was? Yeah. Uh, I don't remember half of the character. I only remember Monkey Penny and uh, Spy Fox. What about Mr. Utterly? I don't even remember. Who was he again? Uh, the cow. Well, this well steer. He's a steer. 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 Yeah, no, it's like, <laughs> like that's a Rocko's Modern Life joke you just said. <laughs> and Ali's like, Rocko's Modern Life. And, um. Fuck. The, the <laughs> fuck. The fuck. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Time's off, Elliot. Thanks for playing. Spice Fox <laughs> didn't say <laughs> fuck. Sure, yeah. uh, Billy the Kid, the goat, the villain. The, yeah, who's the villain of the game, yeah. Billy the Kid? Yeah. So it sounded like a bunch of uh, fucking nursery rhyme characters and ending with Billy the Kid. Well, it Holy was, shit. The Spy Fox was edutainment, pretty much. Oh, fuck. Ah, uh, shit. <laughs> now perish. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> Son of a bitch, that hurt. Oof. Heal me, lifesaver. Let Banjo say bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Banjo needs a seated gamer moment. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's just a, it's just a gamer word. You guys don't understand. Fuck! <laughs> <sighs> People are idiots. Tell me about it. <laughs> this is going to be a very tight jump. I think you can make it. And there's the orange Jinjo. It's all the way over there. Oof, made it. So barely. Can't grab, you know, <laughs> if, 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 I guess if, if, going by what you guys were saying earlier, if it was two, it wouldn't be a big deal because you can grab ledges. Right. You think they're like when they were developing the next game? It's like, all right, uh, let's grab number it, one. It's, it's like <laughs> it, it was it's, the first. It's like, all right, mates. What should we add next to this new game? Mites? They're Australian. I thought they were British. They are British. Yeah, that's why I thought. Why is I like making them Australian? British can say mates. <laughs> that's my cover. Hashtag let British, let British say, say mate. mates. <laughs> <laughs> let the British mate. Yeah, I love, uh, let the uh, British mate. I wasn't aware there. Thank Dolly. And the the banjo invincibility theme plays in the background. It's so mating. <laughs> Apparently, Brits are are an endangered species. Uh, what I was, yeah, it, it's I gotta find it's a, it's a little strange that a game like this released after '64 doesn't have a ledge grab, which did have a ledge grab. You know, '64 did have a ledge grab. And this game does not. It's I fun. honestly consider that a colossal oversight. Yeah, it was like, oops. No, but at the same time, do without like, scrubs. <laughs> yeah, at the same time, it's like it looks like everything in this game was designed without a ledge grab in mind. Like, right. So if, it's, it's, let's say if a ledge grab was in this game, is there any mission off the top of your head that immediately is broken in half just because you have it? I probably have the game when you think about it. See, that's what I mean. It's like it, I don't think it would look as an oversight. It's like they legitimately designed a game without you know it ledge grabbing. Be. That's for pussies. It was like, they probably you know, break the poor bear's wrist. <laughs> <laughs> like, Considering uh, he's already climbing up all this shit without it, I don't think he has, I don't think upper body strength is one of Banjo's problems. And do bears have opposable thumbs? Uh, no. I want to know. Let's ask a bear. <laughs> Elliot? <laughs> you're the bear. Yeah, I was going to say, man, you're, you're probably the bear. Well, I have opposable thumbs, but yeah, I can't no. speak for my fellow brethren. On account of their bears. And bears do not talk. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> it's stupid. <laughs> this time around, you press the down switch. The TNT just drops and lets you get into that room. Boss room in there, by the way. TNT crates. What a ripoff. Tell me about it. She's bad, Joe. How about some originality, Mike? <laughs> <laughs> We're just going to swing over here real fast, hopefully, and collect the Jinjo. Prayfully, I don't sink in the fucking goop. Hey, you should be fine. I should be fine. Just get the retainer ready. Now, the I reason am. you constantly jump is so you can get a bearing on your controls. That, and I can um just go a little faster. Is Banjo a little slippery on his feet? Is that a why you do it? A little bit, but not much. Just like a touch. Yeah. As a, it's, you know, we're playing Galaxy. You notice that uh, as Luigi, I jumped all the time as well. And that, that's why I can mitigate his butter feet. I thought it was just because Luigi had ADHD. That, that too. And whatever one of the, the co-star <laughs> was, the poke in my ass made me jump. To be, <laughs> to be fair, I did the same thing. Someone jumped the thumb in my ass. <laughs> I thought it would be like, yeah! <laughs> no, I, I'd probably be like, ooh! <laughs> <laughs> was that a satisfying ooh? Or? <laughs> yeah, see, that's, 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 that sounds like a satisfying that's, ooh. That's the thrill of it. You can't tell. You can't tell if I'm legitimately shocked or turned <laughs> on. Or maybe a little of both. Or maybe a little both, yeah. The world's big. <laughs> the, world's big, the world's big enough for both. <laughs> I, I don't. I don't get it. <laughs> We're done alongside the side of the ledges for now. Hopefully, I don't die because then the tolls reset. So now we can finish exploring the ship proper. So we're going to go in that hole that the TNT crate created? We're probably going to totally go into the hole. So how many uh, gold feathers do I have? Eight. That might be enough to cheese it. Ground pound. Ground pound in the hole. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Uh-oh. It's the dreaded crate. Boss boombox. He's not even TNT. Boombox. Boombox. It's not even an actual boombox. Right? He loses his teeth when he gets hurt. It's a base. It's it's Russian because it's a Mario Kocha kind of thing. Oh, okay. So it's one of those like, oh, you got you got the bigger one now, but now there's more small ones. Right. Cut one Gold head. feathers also work here. Cut one head, two that's more. That's what I was about. To, that's what I was trying to do. I mean, Sabrina. Oh. I just wanted to like get rid of. <laughs> well, I wanted to get rid of the bigger Thanks ones. for the <laughs> insight, girly Elliot. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, you assless chap. Yeah. I get it. We're fat. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Cut head out one head. Yeah, this could essentially break this part in half. Well, it helps to be a completionist. Right? I didn't want it really. Then why? Why didn't you just me? give it to me? Exactly, <laughs> fuckhead. No, no, no. He, he had it, but then he's acting like, oh, I didn't even want it anyway. I was one of those types. Yeah. Mm, can never admit defeat. Loser. <laughs> <laughs> what a bitch. You're a loser, Boombox. Not as much as Boggy, though. Boggy. <laughs> no, no, no. Boggy's a failure. There's a difference in that. I don't know, man. To me, loser and failure are kind of synonymous. Right. Like, Boombox seemed to be reliable. He just messed up against, you know, Golden Feather. I don't know. Like, I'm trying to think would... about it. If someone were to call me a failure, I think that would hurt. I don't know. Yeah, they, they both have. I would say they're both equal in terms of punch. Like you're a loser, Matt, or you're Ow. a failure, Matt. Ow. Okay, failure probably is stronger. Failure is stronger. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Because failure implies some outright malice. Oh no, I would say loser, because loser is just an uh, loser, is just an insult, like a straight up insult. Mm -hmm. It's like you're a loser. It's like, well, fuck you. You're right. I should wait you. to. I should wait until that's the last one to get, because the, there's one jiggy that's a real pain in the ass to reach out to. So we're gonna get that one last, hopefully. How many do you have now? Should be eight. Seven. Seven. We got the Jinjos. Oh no, I'm ring party. There are other windows here you could break. One of them, I believe, is in the captain's quarters. One is done by the. Um, well, one is in that room we were just in, so I ain't now worried about see, that one. I, I wasn't. I wasn't really paying attention to when you broke the other windows, but do they look just like those on the wall right there? Yes, they do. See, I would never get the idea to break them because they look like just textures. I didn't on the either. Wall. I didn't either on my first type. Yeah, on my first they, they look. They look like textures on the wall. They don't look like anything you can interact with because they don't. They're not three D objects. Well, some of them are three D objects. Okay, it's, well, th it's if, difficult to. I'm. I'm not wording it right. It's the problem I'm having here. Okay. Well, the next time we see a breakable window, if you still need to go through one. We can make that judgment call. But if it looks just like the other ones, then no, I think you need to make them a little more visually distinct. I think you're going to go back in the ship. Like, yeah, I know. Because oh, I know what one of them is. I'm starting to see why this level sucks. 
Yeah, like with everything being so monotonous here, it's hard for me to really remember everything. All right, guys, get your ship. All right, guys, get your ship shit ready. What ship is ship. the front of the boat? Oh, what the front of the board? The, the front of the board. Bow. The, the, yeah, and not the. Uh, no, no, wait. There's uh, the there's starboard. Bow. Starboard port. Wait, port is uh, what? Um, like I said, I'm not the bad Yeah, problems. I'm not. I'm not too high on my uh, boat ship, terminology. Ship terms. Yeah. I just know the poop deck. What, what is the back stern? Oh, you've been learning. Good for you. No, that was a SpongeBob reference. Wait, what? That was a SpongeBob reference. That was? Yeah. yeah. The oh, you suck. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I mean, if you got to learn your boat knowledge, I guess SpongeBob does kind of make sense. Yeah, you know what? You're right. Because the like, they're driving much... boats. Yeah, Stephen Hillenburg, what? He had a degree in what? Marine biology? Yeah. yeah. Before he made the show? Yeah, you yeah. see, okay. It's a slight difference. All right, all right. There's a slight color difference, but it still looks like a fucking texture on the damn wall. Hey, hey! I kind of wondered if there would be a reference to Donkey Kong Country in the um, in these rooms. If there is, it if probably there be was. would be removed for the 360. Yeah, yeah, it would. The N64 thing was. Wasn't that like the uh, the the ongoing story for the longest time? Is that when Microsoft bought Rare, they thought they were getting Donkey Kong with them? Yes. Yeah. And it's like. No, nope. what? what? How? They were brand new to the whole thing. I so. suppose so. But it's That's a case of, oh, did I fucking misread the, that one from the jump? <laughs> when the Donkey Kong's copyright by Nintendo? Oh, no one told me bitch. this. <laughs> son of a bitch. <laughs> you know you can't have Donkey Kong here, right? <laughs> Why didn't you tell me that? <laughs> he slaps Bill Gates. <laughs> <laughs> no, Bill Gates slaps Phil Spencer. <laughs> no, okay. Oh, poor Phil. What the fuck's wrong with you, Phil? <laughs> Fuck you, Phil. Phil, you fucking. <laughs> Mark and I made this like just long. Made Phil Spencer like we actually legitimately like the dude because he seems like a fun dude. But we like we have this running gag where we just make Phil Spencer a bumbling oaf who somehow stumbles his way to every E3 convention. <laughs> 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 it's like he's never invited, but he still manages to be there anyway. All right, you know what? Get me Todd Howard. <laughs> Get me Todd Howard. Or else. Yeah, so that's 3D a little bit. Yeah, I, I saw I saw a bit of a difference in, in there. You know, I see the color difference, sure. Again, it pops up a little. I bit, still think it needs it. to be a little more visually distinct. Hi. 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 They're so happy to see us. I know, right? There's one in the captain's den. Two Wait, more. I think I know where they are. And they're probably both in the same area. So let's just head down there. Can you jump in that painting? No. <laughs> <laughs> this is <dangerous>. Nope. <laughs> Wait, you pick a mission. It's a let's a go. It, it's <laughs> yeah. Sounds like a Goofy was was helming a platform game. I'm pretty sure he was. The Goofy platformer. A Goofy platformer. Yeah, for PS1 maybe. We have Goof Troop. <laughs> but that was a Super Nintendo game, wasn't it? Yeah. Directed by Hideki Kamiya. Why? Hideki Kamiya? No, 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 no. Was not Kamiya. Not Kamiya. Uh, Shinji Mikami. Oh. That would have been some shit if it was Hideki Kamiya. I was going to say, like, what? Like, I do not remember that at all. Because like, <laughs> he, he even has Disney blocked on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> no one, that would explain the inspiration behind Double May Cry 2. <laughs> well, even though he had no say in that. You fall, you die. Again, N64 version, there goes all your notes. Oh, no! What about Devin Strand up? No! <laughs> God, you lose all your notes like that? Yep. Holy fuck, that bl that blows. Thank God this isn't the N64 version. <laughs> Hallelujah. Like, seeing their faces, like, come back, like, oh! <laughs> Actually, that kind of reminds me of, um, this is kind of a pool, but uh, you guys ever play uh, Bart's Nightmare? Uh, a bit, yes. Super Nintendo? Just a bit. Bart's face was the health bar in that game. Yeah, it and was. The worse you were felt, like the more deteriorated his face will get to the point where he's a zombie. fucking skeleton. Yeah. Ow. <laughs> Couldn't be a bit more patient, huh, Banjo? Fuck you. <laughs> nope. I know nothing. Nope. Then again, is it near as the gears going a little faster than normal? Not I wouldn't. So. It's compared to what? Nah, I was thinking like maybe the gears are going a little faster. I'm just being slow on the draw. Oh no. Fucking switch. I gotta hit the switch again, don't I? Do you? Can't you just jump and glide over it? Oh no, it's slowing down. No, those are. The plaf the blades are not. Oh, okay. I ain't going after that. Okay, yeah, nine is in here, ten is outside. I'm overthinking. Yeah, I think I gotta hit the switch again. 
Oh, look at you. You impatient little shit. <laughs> no, you're supposed to do that. <laughs> but there's that one. Yeah. But that's like, that's actually outside, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's outside the boat. There's a gold feather there. Can you break that window? No, you can't break the window. Oh. Because that, that was the other switch that you hit. That you hit We're going to make before. an alternate Twitter account for that one, too. Can you break the window in this game? <laughs> it's, like, it's like, can you break, can you pet the dog? I love I that account. I that switch was tied. Did they change that? Oh, no. Oh, shit. Don't worry. I'm, I'm going to... Oh. Oh. This is new. Okay. There Aww. we go. <laughs> I thought we were going to find like, some secret rare Easter egg. Yeah, it would just be like a giant sign that says, there's no Easter egg here. Get to move on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so find where that switch was first before you go. Yeah, that's what we're going to do, and I know where that's at. Okay. Don't you want someone to get that piece on the, the boat now? No, because he died, the switches aren't hit anymore. No, the, yeah, oh. remember the switches from back in here? They slow down the propeller blades have not stopped them, which I need to get to the center. Well, no, but you also flick the switch that stopped the propellers in the back of the boat. No, to get you got to hit both of them. Yeah, you're right. Or at least slows them down enough, which is what I'm grateful for. So we're going to cut back to that room. See you there. This requires patience, and that is not a Matelli virtue. <laughs> patience is never the Matelli virtue. It's why all our relatives died in the war. Exactly. We wanted to be out. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> The Great Pasta War of 1902. Don't you dare mention that. <laughs> <laughs> you promised you wouldn't bring up the pasta war. You fucking promised. Jerk off. Oh, yeah, you just have to flick it again. There's two of them. One on each side. And then it's a time limit race. So gets it war is a time limit. Gets war flashbacks every time Mario says it's a me. <laughs> I get war flashbacks every time I'm fucking here. 100 notes at least. And one more jiggy. What does a bear need for yellow pants? <laughs> you don't have to hit the grunty switch again, right? No. No, the grunty switch is the only thing that stays intact because it's really affecting the outside world more than here. Time to get ready for a run. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. Go oh, okay. okay so, so there you, is you a have timer. A time limit. Okay. I'm he hasn't hit both switches first so that the time limit can actually Well, we, I wasn't sure there was even a time limit here, so yeah. And it's that. tight. It's, it's fucking tight. tight. Okay. Mm -hmm. Tight like tiger? Tight like tiger. Tight like tiger. Tight like super tiger. Go. Go. Do a flip. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Climb, you big berry bastard. <laughs> Go on as fast as I can, go on as fast as I can, go on as fast as I can. <laughs> I'm giving it all she's got! <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be super close. Oh yeah, it is. You're like, you're, like, you're right there. Hey. hey. Good luck, buddy. Hey. Oh. By the by, the uh, propellers are instant kill. I'd imagine. Yeah, because they probably want to force a. And they will come back on when you're when you're in there. Oh, so I, I made thought, it. Okay, Jesus. Tight fit, just barely too, dude. And that's it for Rusty Bucket Bay. Oh, nice. Thank God. Right, thank. I said the same thing. At 33 <laughs> minutes to boot. Ooh. Next time around, it's going to be a session in and of itself. Will be Click Clockwood, and then the end game. We'll see you guys next time for more Banjo Kazooie. Take care.